expecting to speak at all here today and I uh, thank you very much for inviting me to speak. You didn't back away either! No, 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 no. This is what the, uh, the, the, the communities in Cork have done to me. They've pushed me forward and made me speak and oh, I'll do all this sort of thing, you know. And just to let you know that I'm involved with Bellefeehan South Parish who, are, who 14, 15 months ago decided Irish water was going to be a major problem. When all the other polit political parties and everything else was going off about property tax and going about getting elections, we decided we'd stick and try and stop the water meters being put in in Cork. We got in ahead of Irish water in a place called Ashbrook Estate. Yeah. We got those people to come out and stop the installation of water meters. We got two other estates followed immediately. One day later, uh, Donna Griffin in Dublin, decided to put out a call in Dublin, and then it started in Dublin. But the reason I'm here is, I'm, what we go into, into each community, this is about communities, guys. Yeah. Communities coming together, right? We always say when we're at, a, at a, a meeting, let's put the unity back into the community. And everywhere we've gone, People who were talking to each other for the last 10 or 12 years because of different circumstances are now going out together again. They're now becoming communities. And all because we're stopping Irish water, putting in meters that we don't want. No, 14 months ago, when we started this, a certain Mr. Hogan went on television and he said a few people in Cork in a small estate are not going to stop Irish water. Well I have a message for him now. Mr. Hogan look at us now! Look at us now! Keep the fight up! Let's get rid of the shaggers! Come on! Just before we wrap it up, um, on a personal note, and for the rest of the lads on the committee here, um, it's really great to see people coming up from all parts of the country to join us here in Nina. As you can see, the majority of the people that are here aren't, there isn't a lot of Nina people here. But that's the so we'll be the next time. Yeah. But we'll be all up in Dublin and we're going to keep on fighting and yeah. Irish War will be abolished. Thanks to Derek and Bernie and Shamey and John from Cork and you're going straight back down to the railway station but we have to stay here so I want to be able to hear you all roaring and shouting on your way back down. So I'm just going to pass you over to Mick. Thanks for coming down lads. I'm humbled by the, the amount of people who travel a great distance to be here today and I'm ashamed of the turnout locally. Um, I really am I'm ashamed Don't of the turnout worry. locally. We had the same experience here with the, with the Friends of Nina Hospital a few years back. Thousands of people came from all over the country to support this town, to support our local hospital. And people of this town, they, some of them turned out on the day, but they didn't travel to any other rallies that were held in other towns to support our local hospital. I just, I just don't understand it. I don't understand, I don't understand it. I suppose Alan Kelly probably still has a fairly strong support in the area. Well, shame on them! Shame on them! We made our point, Mick. When he... When he was running for MEP a few years ago, I remember I was standing in my mother's kitchen one day and she said to me, will you give Alan Kelly the vote? I said, no. Yeah. She said, why? I said, because he'll do nothing. She said, he's promising jobs. And I left and I said no more. And I didn't vote for him. And I became very disillusioned with the political process. And I only started to get really passionate about it in, in, in the last year, year and a half, with the growth of the movement and growth of the movement here locally and, and, and nationally. We have to take an active role and the, the days we're standing back and letting other people do all the work are over. Yeah. They're over. And um, the reason I kind of went, wanted to give Shami a plug here today, I'm not Sinn Féin, I'm not a member of the party, I've never voted for Sinn Féin, but sh sh in fairness to Shami Morris, he's been at every march here. He's, and he's marched as a citizen. He never asked to say a few words, he never said a few words. 
And we asked him to be a speaker at, at today because he marched as an ordinary citizen. He's done Trojan work for his constituents. And not only that, but he's not one of these point scorers who takes credit for stuff he doesn't do like Alan Kelly does on a regular basis. He's not like Desi Ellison. <laughs> Alan Kelly gets a few bob for the area and what he does is he repackages it two or three times, calls it two or three different things and then takes the credit for it two or three times, you know. And we're on to him at this stage. I'll just say this, going forward, the work isn't going to be over on the 29th. There's a lot of work between now and the next election. When you're talking on social media, and I know everybody here is very active on social media, that's fine, and as, and as, 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 as um, Bernie pointed out, it's a great tool, but there are a lot of people who don't use social media. We need to be talking to them. Because when you're talking to each other and, and different protest groups and stuff like that, you're basically only preaching to the converted. Everybody's going to agree with you pretty much. So you need to be talking to your neighbours, you need to be talking to your families. We need to start dealing with this institutionalised, traditional voting. I'll vote for him because my father voted for him and his grandfather voted for him. That nonsense is, 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 is out of date and it doesn't work. So I just want to point out the amount of work that was put into today and I want to give Siobhan Walsh huge credit because I know she's put in huge work over the last week or, week or so on this. I want to thank Bernie. Bernie, Bernie Hughes is one of the people that was imprisoned for, for, for peaceful protesting. I want to thank Derek as well, he was another one. We had a vigil here in town. We had a vigil outside Alan Kelly's house while, while you were locked up, lads. And I can guarantee you, you were a lot warmer than we were. <laughs> Brian Gould, right, Brian Gould, who was in court for water meters as well. Brian. And this man here was in, in court for water meters as well. Brian Gould in the corner there. What's he doing? Brian, Brian Gould. Ask Brian to say something. Brian, would you like to say something? Jim, say Brian. 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 Savvy, Siobhan. This will be the last speaker now, I promise. Well, He's a troublemaker. Hi. Thank you very much. My name is Brian Gould and I come from Cork. And I'm proud of it. In a while. But I'm also proud of all the people that came here today to show their oh, solidarity Nina. against the Irish Water Limited. I'm in Nina. There, there will be no Irish Water I'm next trying, year no because it will be dead in the water. And that point is intended. Yeah. I would like to say that the likes of people like John Lanigan, Eddie O'Sullivan, Dolan O'Sullivan, Tony Cronin, and people like that, who were the first in Ashbrook who stood? We at the time didn't have a clue what we were doing. We knew nothing about how to stop Irish water. It was by accident that one of us fell into a hole to stop Irish water. <laughs> and we kept on falling into them. And the people in Dublin started falling into them a lot more than we did. What I would like to say is that we have now in the city of Cork Irish water coming into our city. And we're the river city, and we will stop Irish water. We stopped them in. We stopped them in places around the city, in the county. But now they're going to get the rod of Balfour Hand, Mayfield, Grand, Man. They're going to be down on top of their shoulders now when they actually come in. We're we'll have to stop them in four estates at the moment, and Monday morning we'll be stopping them in another couple of estates. And Irish water will be gone before too long. Thank you very much. Very, very, very much, all of you, for coming. We're having Absolutely a symbolic amazing. burning of the bins There's here. One bill They're doing a little burning born. of the bins it's here. Symbolic. This is symbolic. This is symbolic. Of all your bills. Yeah. Yeah. Siobhan Walsh burning her bill. In Bound the Square, Nina, on the 8th of August. Can I just say happy birthday? Can I just say happy birthday? Can we say happy birthday to Andrea? She started up this group since so her birthday yeah. today. Can I just say, the paper is much stronger than the first. They give us up the board. Go on. Jesus, you'll be poisoning yourself. And I'm not going to lie. Who's letting that paper stand? Who's letting that paper? Ah, we got seconds. No, no, Mark no. doesn't get fed. Jesus, I tell your mother was down. Don't burn the flag.
Where's your slip out? Oh, I think lighter fuel, which is your cruise. Right, right. I, I, I told you they, the people... He's waiting, he's waiting, to go back to the car. I had the old one. I won't. Where's Tom? Hold on for a minute. I just want to put the weight flag. Yeah, there he is, there he is. Come on, yeah. Thank you. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.